ever after. I was reading an article this morning and I found something out that startled me a little bit. What is? What do you suppose the nation's largest police department is? What do you suppose it is? Who is it? Los Angeles? It's New York, right? New York. And do you know that the largest police department, the most cutting edge police department in the country, not one officer has a, a cam, a, 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 a body cam, not one. New York don't have body cam? They, they have not one officer wears a body cam, according to this report. So the, the, the nation, the, report, the police department that leads the nation in just sheer numbers, in technology, they have every event, they have helicopters, they have tanks, they have every, um, uh, you know, piece of military equipment that any police uh, department can have. They have uh, a response team. They work, and they have the anti -ter but they don't have. No body cams. They have no body cams. Because they don't, they're reticent to make the changes to make them better, to make them more transparent. This is a deliberate. They have the money. So the, the police department in the largest city in the country, the one that is concerned about terrorism, that's concerned about being a police, has no body cam. Wow. That means specifically they don't want people. I, I'm telling you, I think technology uh, has changed a lot of things. Nobody uses pay phones anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of things you don't, nobody uses camera, but now people don't buy cameras anymore. Right. And people won't, don't buy the notion that the police always act in good faith. Some things don't survive technology, and one of those things is police uh, is policemen's un invulnerability, where you can just automatically assume they were telling you the truth. We've just seen in the last few weeks where people using body cams and people using dash cams have showed us that, th that pe people are, are not as always acting the way they say they are. The largest police department in the United States of America does not have one body cam. They have body cams in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They got body cams in Charlotte. Police, the, the Big Apple <laughs> is the big cheese when it comes to no body cam. And that's deliberate. They want, they do not want to take the leap mm. to, to entrust people with their reputation. The city of stop and frisk, who has, you know, at least some questionable tactics. The city, uh, Eric Garner, uh, you know, th this city doesn't want body cams. And if they did want them, they'd have them already. So I'm just, it, they have almost, what, 30, almost 40,000 police officers, not one body cam. If you need them, Tulsa, Oklahoma can loan you a few. Hmm. Not one police officer is wearing a body cam. What, what good are body cams and dash cams anyway, unless we have... Uh, you know, uh, bias proof grand juries. But to me, it is deplorable that after all these years and all these things that have gone wrong, the largest police department in the United States of America has decided they're going to be slow when it comes to technology. I bet if it was weaponry, they'd have it all. Oh, yeah. If it was sophisticated equipment, they'd have it all. But the equipment that allows us to have some level of transparency you refuse to, and I say to you, ugh. <laughs> all right, that's a little note from the GED session. Coming up, we've got the Jazz Report. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.